Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rasher again, and we're back with the Cardinal. This is the Cardinal with about three coats on it. Uh, it doesn't have to be totally white, white. The breast will come that way because we didn't burn it, but all this is fine. This has got the white in it. This is the mantle where I wanted all this ghosting to happen in here. And then the rest of this is, is, is sufficient in the same way with the underneath side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse the camera again and then show you how I start painting. And uh, I'll show you step by step. Uh, one of the things we're going to do before is I'm going to clean the glass eyes and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Okay, we're back. Uh, on the eye area here where we had paint on it, I'm getting it like an X-Acto knife. It could be any kind of knife. And I'm just going to scrape the surface a little bit. It shouldn't affect the glass eyes. I'm just trying to break that coating that's on there. And when we sprayed it to seal it, that also put a coating on it, so that should make it come up cleaner. So I'm just going to try to scrape as much as I can. I'm not really trying to go real crazy with it and get most of it off like this. Now, it's not all going to come off real easy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brush that's wet and I'm going to come in here and just clean it up and then I could see what I missed okay so it just comes back I'm going to clean that off make sure you got all the white out of there you don't have to go real real crazy but I still see some more just want to make sure you get all the, all the just off. And you're not really trying to really hit it hard. You want to hit it nice and easy. Everything's gentle here. And that should get you right where we need to be. That's pretty good right there. So I'm just going to get this brush and brush off. Uh, the little remnants that were there. So, okay. Now, what I've done is I've put out about a pea size of paint here. Uh, this is crimson. Well, it could be any red, really. This is red also, but it's actually on the orange side. It's called uh, cadmium red light. But... If you have an orange or you want to make the orange to that color, that's what we're shooting for. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix these. I'm only going to put about a half a cup of water on both of them until I get what I'm looking for. I'm going to mix this in one cup here pretty good. And I want to get all of this about so that looks pretty pretty good then I'm going to rinse the brush out and get most of the paint off it at least try to I have a container over here of water that I rinse my brushes out and you don't see it but Show it to you sometime. And I'm mixing the orange. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to blend these two. This had about a half a pea. This had a, a full pea size of uh, the paint. This here is Windsor Newton, but I didn't have uh, uh, the Liquitex. This is the Liquitex. 
I'll, I'll call it orange for the sake of uh, the color rather than its uh, actual color, which is a, what they consider a red. So I'm going to pick up some of the red. I still haven't got it mixed well. I'm going to come over to here in this tray, and I'm going to play with this a little bit. I'm going to take so much red out. Rinse my brush so I don't have it coming so contaminated with just red. And I'm going to get some of the orange and mix that in. Let me just check that color. It's starting to look pretty good. It doesn't take much of the orange. Okay. Um, you can see I'm just loading the brush up and then I mix it in with the red. Okay. Now, and I dab it on a, on a paper towel so I could see about how red am I getting. So here we go. I'm going to put what they call washes on, okay? I'm not going to go heavy. I'm going to come in. I'm going to come right on up to the beak. I'm not doing the beak at this time, but I want to make sure I got all the burned area. And if you get some on the beak, don't worry about it. It's not a problem. Now, here's where I was telling you. Whoop, I'm sorry. I hope you've seen that. I got off camera here in the sense of me uh, doing this. Uh, what I did is I just applied some of the red mix. It's the red and the orange. And I... Uh, don't want to overwork it. I'm going to come in. I'm going to move the color. So I have uh, a real good color saturation in there. And then what I'm going to do is uh, not overwork it. Because let me show you something here. Uh, if I keep on doing this, You'll see it getting lighter in there, and, you, and that's because the brush will act as a sponge, so that's not what you want to do. You want to be able to apply it and leave that area alone, and then go to the next area and just keep on moving it down. And if it happens, uh, try to balance it out with a, a wash over it. And then just keep moving on. Uh, you want to get this pretty well. Oop, wrong one. The mix is what I'm looking for. And it's more red than anything else. The orange in it just gives it a little more brightness to it. I don't want any puddling. So if you notice, I'm holding this without the, the handle to hold it. But right now, I'm just trying to uh, make sure I'm got control. So I hold the bird with my hand at the moment. Now, I'm going to come down into the mantle. I'm so used to holding the bird, I rarely use this anymore. The, the handle, but it is handy because uh, you'll end up, I hope I was in the camera again, I'm shifting here, and I didn't mean to, Oop, excuse me, so, um, trying to get a nice even coat, a wash over all of this right now, and I'm trying to get it consistent, so hope you can see that. And I'm going to run out of paint pretty fast, I'll bet. Let me move this paint over more so that top of the camera so it's just a dragging this down 
and you don't want it so wet that it's runny, okay? You want to have a controlled uh, brush, okay? Now, I'm starting to run out of paint, so I should have mixed uh, a, a three-quarter size of the cup. But not a big deal. Not a big deal. We can do this again real easy. We have all the paints here. So I'm going to get this to a point, and then I'm going to show you. We'll make the color again that we're trying to sh sh uh, mix here. Uh, I'm going to stop right there for a moment. I'm going to put this off to the, to the side. I'm going to come back. And again, the red that we have, I'm going to take some more out here. Uh, let me get a little bit more so we can have enough to get a nice coat. Then I'm going to rinse my brush out just to get the red out a little bit and then pick up the orange. Stir that up real good. And that should keep us going. So I'm going to grab Cardinal again. And where we left off, I'm going to come in here. Again, I'm going to try to get into all the nooks and crannies. But right now, I'm mainly trying to get topside with this as far as all of this goes i'll show you in a minute we'll we'll do some more on the breast area but in the breast area i want to highlight it a little bit more make it very distinctive between uh the top and the bottom and what i mean is the top of the bird and the, the breast area Rest area is a little brighter on the cardinal. So I'm coming in here and I'm trying to get a nice saturation of color throughout. And you want to get down all the way down to the end here. You don't want to forget about this. If I go on the breast, don't worry about it. That's fine too. I want to get down into those, what I call the nooks and crannies, which is the underneath side of the wing. Just to get color in there. So you don't have any white spots per se. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I got everything in there. Okay. So I'm going to come back. Let's give that a light. I'm going to make sure I get all the edges too of the tail here. Okay. Even, even this here. Now we're going to go to the underneath side and we're going to paint the tail. Okay. And this is only going to be the first wash we put on. So it, it's not like uh, the end all here. This is uh, uh, just the start. We will put several washes on the piece. And we have to dry it in between. Now, one of the things I'm going to do to show you uh, a little variety in the wash is I'm going to come in and wash the breast and I'm going to use the red but I'm going to go right for the orange straight on and I'm mixing the two right on the bird's breast okay I'm coming in with the red come in with the orange right directly right on top and uh, and this I want to try to 
control not to go everywhere else. And uh, I want to give this a coat. Now, see, this is exactly what I didn't want you to do. I got real watery there. And if you put too much on, as you just saw I did, that is the wrong way of doing it. You get so much, you, you brush it. I'm going to get the red in there. Then I'm going to go for this. And as long as you keep it under control, you can just move it on without it flowing all over the place where it almost did a backflow and went everywhere where I didn't want it to go. So I get the red, I put it in. And I get the orange. And the orange, I'm gonna come in a little bit more. because uh, the cardinal's breast is a lot brighter. So we have everything with a one coat. I'm trying to make all the white look like it has a coating. I'm gonna come back right in here and get the yellow and go right in there. And I'll get the red too. And if you noticed, I'm, I'm not worrying too much about the chin area here. I didn't go all the way up, but I don't want that, eh, which I just did, have it running up into here. So I just, if you just saw what I did, I just had a dry brush, came in and picked it right up. So if, if something's running in the wrong area, you can pick it up real fast. So you can keep it in the control. So what I'm going to do on this video I'm gonna do uh, one more coat of this, but I'm gonna dry this in between, but you can see how I did it. It's the crimson. If you have a red, that's fine in your uh, selection of paints. And if you have an orange, uh, it's a pea size of the red and about half of that on the orange. And the top side gets all red and it stays pretty consistent, but it's not, it's watery. Okay. Very watery. And then you add, uh, this into the red or for the top side, but just a couple dabs in there. Now, when I go to do the breast, uh, it's more orangey than it is red. And it does have the red in it as well. And, and I, that's what I want you to accomplish. So, I don't want to keep on doing this because you'll see I'll be I'll be picking up and it'll get light. So I'm going to stop at this point and this will be fine. I'm going to dry this and then with my hair dryer and then do a second coat over the whole thing again. Same way. So uh, I'll see you on the next video. I hope you got something out of this one as well. Uh, we are going to build up on the color so it reaches where we want it to be. So uh, see you on the next video. And uh, this is what I'm trying to achieve. And if you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that greatly too. And I thank you very much. See you on the next video.